So this is the infuriating part because we just got back to the dinghy running to do laundry and there is signs everywhere that says video recording, surveillance, 24 hour monitoring. And we get back to the dinghy. We're gone for maybe a couple hours, maybe. And the fuel tank is here, but they removed the line and stole the motor off of the back of the dinghy. So, see if we can't contact one of the neighbors that has the surveillance and hopefully catch a license plate. We're going to have to call it in and see what we can come up with. Hey guys, so uh, obviously a little change in the direction of our video today, but just to get this out there as quickly as possible, I went ahead and put this all together. And uh, it's already on Facebook, it's also on Instagram. If anybody hears anything, anybody sees it, there's a picture there for reference that maybe they can contact us. Um, sounds like from the officer that one of the cameras possibly did catch the vehicle that was down there after Eric had left from checking on it. So they will be contacting the owners of that vehicle and find out maybe it's been found, we don't know yet. But in the meantime, um, please take a look at the video again, review it. And if anybody sees anything, hears anything, uh, please contact us right away so that we can try and get that over to the investigating officers. Uh, otherwise, I did put some stuff in that we were working on yesterday while we were home. We were trying to take the day off. So stay tuned. There's nice heavy duty 30 amp power supply for your boat and you want to change out just the piece that's going bad my suggestion is you go in to an RV store buy the 30 amp that they have because it fits into the back of the original place now the old style 30 amp has a nut and bolt where you have to crimp an eye onto the lead, put it onto the post and tighten down the bolt to hold it. This style, you just strip the wires, you get it in there really good and you tighten these down and make sure they're really good and tight and then um, you're pretty much done. What I did do was that inside the lid of this, when you buy these at the store, there's a tape-backed uh, foam gasket that covers this whole inside. Carefully peel that out and apply it down on the surface of the outlet housing here. 
and then take a razor knife and trim it to fit and you will have a new gasket that separates the unit from the actual mounting part of the housing to go on the boat. You'll have to take a slightly bigger drill bit because this style comes with really tiny screws in it. Those are meant for the RV and the heavy duty housing has the larger screws so you'll have to take a drill bit and drill out the inside of the where the screws go a little bit but they follow the same exact hole pattern so it's so easy and instead of going to like West Marine has these for $200 and you have to get the whole damn assembly or 35 or 37.99 to $42 for just the replacement piece. 50 bucks got me the whole unit for the RV and it was interchangeable. So I like this setup better with the direct where all I'm doing is crimping the lines in and tightening down good and tight. It's pre-marked so it's easy for you to identify the colors. So each one of them had the color coding on it already for your boat which should be your primary colors are white, black, and green. And after that, go ahead and assemble it and she's ready to go. And this is for the 30 amp outlet. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, make sure you get your notifications. Catch up with you soon.